Wow. I just watched the vid. <clears throat> and sister who had 15 kids. Okay. And I guess a 10 of those children by the same man. Okay. He's been incarcerated or whatever, you know. And of course she's having some financial uh, difficulties. 15 kids. Um, 12 of the kids live with her. Okay. Two kids. <coughs> um, I'm, I guess it's three different... Um, I think she has uh, three different fathers. Baby fathers. Okay. Of course, this woman is plastered on the, uh, <laughs> uh, on the media, when it's, uh, on the news, okay, and, um, her children ended up being taken away from her, okay, she was living, she had some very real financial problems. 15 kids, uh, well, 12 that's living with her, okay, yeah, uh, I can imagine the financial problems, uh, she had been staying in, a, a she, she was evicted, and she was staying in a, a hotel, I think it was like a, um, was it a two, one room, two room hotel, you know, what, whatever it is. And, you know, you got the news media there, you know, talking with her and everything. And then it switches over to her being in court and being jailed for not answering um, a judge's uh, question as to whether she was pregnant again. You know, this, you know how it goes. First of all, black woman, children, and 15 children at that okay welfare right so the media loves to portray this type of shit okay this 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 image okay I, I don't know me personally and there's a lot of people on on YT ragging on her or whatever I ain't gonna rag on her I mean 15 kids that's that's a hell of a lot of kids to have but you know what? I'm going to come at it at a different perspective. Black life is sacred. But that's all I'll leave at that. <laughs> With that note. Okay? Because she's not the only... When you look back... <laughs> you know... Going back through history... I mean... She's not the only one... Who's had a whole bunch of kids. You know what I mean? When, when you look at different people's lineages or whatever. Shit. My great, great grandmother on my mother's side she had eight damn kids <laughs> okay I mean and when you go back like that you you, you hear people had <laughs> many kids the thing is that I see that so I, I'm not going to really touch on that too much okay the thing is that that I wanted to touch on is this I mean, what was the purpose of taking this woman's kids for? Because she didn't answer your question about being pregnant. After she, after the judge released her from jail or whatever, she answered the question. I mean, I don't know if this woman is, is um, if this sister is on drugs or anything. And I'm not saying that to be, like, disrespectful to her or not, but... You can see she, she, in her face, she has a hard life or whatever, you know. It's like, these, these children, all those children are in state custody now. And I don't feel that they're going to give that woman her children back, honestly speaking. You know how much money, <laughs> 
that they're going to get the, off of that woman's children? I mean, someone has a bunch of kids, yeah, okay, and you feel that, uh, and this thing, oh, you know, taxpayers or, you know, spending their money, you know, they're paying for it or whatever, really? Because when you really do some damn research and you see how this, how this system is set up, I mean, no one is coming out of their pocket paying shit <coughs> to this woman or anyone else because no one owns any currency here. Whatever currency that we are forced to use is coming from the Federal Reserve. That's their shit. <laughs> okay? And they have their face on it. And it lets you know that the currency belongs to them. We don't have any currency. We don't have any money. <laughs> okay? And those supposedly tax dollars... <laughs> that we claim that we have, okay, is nothing more than an interest rate from the Federal Reserve. What private bank or bank period do you know that lends you currency and does not, <laughs> okay, charge you a high interest rate? I get so tired of hearing this tax dollar shit, okay? For starters, none of us have any damn money. This money does not belong to us. We're forced to use it, yes. That's the corrupt system there. But this tax dollar shit, I mean, come on, get serious. <laughs> it's an interest rate from the private bank that's lending us this money. At the end of our pay period, the only thing that we have <coughs> is our paycheck that belongs to us the money that is lent to us as payment okay for whatever hours that we worked is charged a high interest rate it's lent to us and then we are charged this excessive interest rate I mean come on now um God, I mean, I don't even know what to say. Me personally, I couldn't have no damn 15 kids. I'm a mother, you know what I'm saying? I could not have 15 kids. I don't think this is, this is not the economy or whatever to be having 15 kids to begin with. Of course, and you're black too? Oh, hell no. Of course you're going to struggle. Okay? Mm-mm. Wow, I mean, that's, that's a messed up situation. I feel for the children. I really do. I, 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 and I really feel bad that they're taken away from their parent, their mother. I mean, it's not stating that... I don't see where the courts have any proof that this woman abused her children. Okay? To be taking her kids away from her like that. I don't know, but I, I just, I just think that shit is just effed up. I really do. I mean, damn, 15 kids, <sighs> three baby daddies, but I mean, wow. What else can I say about this? I mean, yeah, I got a lot to say, but it right now it's, wow. Wow, that's wow, you know, and now they're sitting, you know, in foster care and shit, and I, you know, I, I, I never trusted the foster care system to begin with, okay, especially with black children, I'm sorry, the experiments they do on kids and shit for these pharmaceutical companies or whatever, I mean, mm-mm. I just think it's a fucked up situation. Hopefully this woman does not get pregnant again. I mean, 
and I'm not trying to say that in no bad way because I'm not trying to disrespect her but the thing is I mean she don't need no more she don't need any more children you know because she's already having a difficult time what what other children do you need to bring in the world when you have when you didn't birth 15 what a sad situation man I, I really feel bad for those kids and I don't know I, I just had to say something I just get so sick and tired too of hearing this taxpayer you know my tax dollars and this and that and this 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 whole bullshit with just dragging black women through the fucking mud with this welfare shit okay <laughs> you know how many people are on fucking welfare besides black people period okay there's a vast majority of people that's on welfare <laughs> and that's in all areas all areas <laughs> okay burps in every place else all states have a welfare department <laughs> okay and whatever area you are in okay will determine exactly who whose faces you will see up in that welfare office I mean get over yourself I mean Jesus black people are not the only people on welfare and when welfare was created it wasn't created with black people in mind it was created for the farmers to help them out during the depression okay white farmers not black people need to get over themselves now I just need to add my opinion to this <sighs> ran a little <laughs> sorry